Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do girls talk and y'all gonna do my makeup with me. So we're gonna just hop right into it. But first I'm gonna pin my hair back. How do I feel about a jelly string? I feel like a jelly string should be cut off immediately. Like, soon as you feel the signs of a jealous friend, you should definitely cut them off because you don't want to wait too late and something happens that you could have avoided by cutting them off from the first sign of the jealousy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I had a jealous friend before and it did not end well. Y'all, don't mind me how I do my makeup because... I just do my makeup like I don't follow any rules like there's no rules to my makeup routine next question how do you think about having sex with two guys in the same period of time I honestly think it's disgusting but I'm not a judgmental person so if you want to have sex with two people in the same period of time then that's on you, but make sure you use condoms, get on birth control, you know, all that good stuff because you don't want to be out here spreading STDs and, you know, because nine times out of ten, them boys are having multiple sex partners. The next question. Okay, someone said, do I think sex is important in a relationship? Absolutely, actually. I feel like if the sex isn't good, then the relationship might not last. Because sex plays a big part in a relationship. In general I feel like you feel what I'm saying like if if y'all not having a good time in the bedroom we all mostly gonna see each other at honestly then this might not last how to ask a man for money most girls be scared to ask that's a really good question because even some of my friends and family be scared to ask a man for money. But it's like, why are you scared? Cause why are you scared? Cause the man can only say yes or no. You feel what I'm saying? But I honestly think you should just call, get it right, get right to it. So let's let's do an example. Hey boo, um do you think, hold on, one tip. If you want like $500, always ask for like more. So I'm gonna just say, ask for a thousand. Hey boo, will you give me a thousand dollars to go shopping or whatever? I'm just gonna say shopping. Some people might just send it over. Some boys might try to talk you down. That's why I say ask for more because a lot of men like to talk girls down the amount they asking for. So, ask for more so he can give you exactly what you need if that makes sense There's nothing he can do but say yes or no um tips for dating first don't let a man convince you to go 50 50 on anything because we not roommates bro why i'm going 50 50 for you feel what i'm saying I think you should let him plan the first date if y'all dating. Like, see what he into. Don't talk too much on the date. Like, see what you can learn from him. See what his mindset is about on the first date. Don't talk too much. If that makes sense. Also, I would say, like, 
don't shy away from confidence what i mean by that is like if a man give you a compliment don't be like oh my god really da, da, da. i had to learn that i had to actually learn to just like when someone give me a compliment just say thank you and just be confident that that's that's really true you know what i'm saying like some girls be like shying away from the conf from the compliments they be like hot in their face or be like asking questions like for real that's what you really think just be confident so if he say you look so pretty today don't be hot in your face and all that really stuff just be like thank you babe or like you know show them that you confident in yourself like you know you that girl <laughs> How should you eat on a first date? Me personally, I would say try to eat before you get there so you won't look like you're starving, you feel what I'm saying? But like, just be yourself on the first day, like, if, cause you cannot fake it for too long, you know what I'm saying? But don't, don't be eating like a, like a man. Like, don't finish your plate before he, he finished talking to you. Like, that's kind of embarrassing. So, just be a lady on the first date. And then maybe like a third date, go all in. Like, give me them ribs, them pork chops, and the lamb chops. <laughs> Should you leave your man after the first time he cheat? Um, absolutely. But, it's better say than done, honestly. Because, like, you know, girls be stuck in their ways, so... Um, you just gotta remember that it's always better out here, and just don't let your emotions like take over the fact that it's better out here. Like, don't let your emotions cloud your brain to not understand that you can always find better. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, 100%, it's always better out here. How do you feel about going 50-50 with a man you live with? I feel like a man should always just want to be a man. So don't let this generation convince you that you should go 50-50 with a man. Because honestly, you shouldn't. I don't care what nobody say. A man should always be the provider. What is for them energy? I just feel like feminine energy is like being submissive to your man, like admiring your 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 um your face, just like dressing up, um dressing up like wearing heels and stuff like that a lot, um just catering to your man um uh, feminine energy could be a lot of things but a lot of girls don't have it and i'm actually just learning how to be you know having feminine energy so uh, that is a good question because it's not easy to be feminine i don't even know if it's like right. it's not easy to be like you know what I'm trying to say. If you like to dress up in heels and stuff, that's feminine energy right there. Like smelling good, feminine energy. Like, you know, keeping yourself up. Just doing girly things, honestly. How do I feel about dating multiple women at once? I feel like dating multiple women at once is okay. Like, dating is normal. Dating is a honestly normal like if you got to figure out what you like in a man and what you don't like and that and if that's about like dating two men at once like just to see what you don't like and what you like then that's okay i think that's okay i'm not saying being in a relationship with two men i'm saying like dating like going out and just getting to know people you know that's i think that's what your early 20s for like getting to know someone you know it's like girls be like ready to commit on the second date, you know, but that's how I be because you be like, Oh, I love him. I'm that's my nigga, I love him. That's my man. You be like, Yeah, you be going all in, 
But yeah, dating is definitely normal. How do you stop being friends with a friend that you really love but it serves no purpose in your life? That's actually a good question, y'all, because a lot of people don't serve any purpose in your life. Like, honestly, it just be a waste of a waste of your life. Like a late a waste of space in your life sometimes. Cause it's like why am I going so hard for this girl and she not serving any purpose in my life? Like, it is a waste of space. Like, she don't have any good energy. It's just like, is this even my friend at this point? Like, I'm not, I'm not getting nothing out of this friendship. Like, I'm not learning anything out of this friendship. Like, just cut them off. Like, I would say just, I don't know. Maybe, like, because if you really love that person, I think you should speak on it at least, at least two times. Like, once be like, some people just don't understand once. You feel what I'm saying? So, twice. It's like, okay, I spoke on it, and you're still not doing what I said. So, it's like, you don't serve any purpose in my life anymore. Like, Sometimes you just gotta cut people off, y'all. No matter the relationship, no matter the history. Cause some people just don't serve any purpose in your life. You have to just cut people off when you have a chance to before you be learning a lesson. You feel what I'm saying? Like, stop giving people too many chances out here. Cause it's like, we are adults. Well, how many chances do you need? You feel what I'm saying? How do you get over a breakup? Okay, ladies, this is definitely a good topic because it's definitely hard to get over a relationship, like get over a breakup, especially if you've been with that person for a long time. That was like one of your main person you will go to. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's definitely not easy to just get over a relationship. Like it's better, it's said, it's better said than done, but. It's not easy to get a relationship, but like once you learn you to catch y'all, then you gonna realize like, oh yeah, he got me messed up. Like once you realize you to catch, you will just learn who you is. Just try to stay, um, try to stay like occupied do things go to the go run arms like go to target like stuff like that marshall's tj max little stores like that just to stay occupied like um stay with friends because friends friends um really help you too i ain't gonna lie but like once you learn you to catch and He need to be like crying on his knees begging for you back then you realize like you don't even lose anything <sighs> and if you did and if he not crawling on his knees crying begging to get back then he ain't the one for you rather wax shaving or laser actually wax wax is his best for anybody, honestly. I mean, ladies, I think laser is the best, honestly, but I never got laser, so I can't really speak on that. I'm just speaking on what I can speak on, but definitely a wax, girls. Wax is 10 times better than a, um, shaving. Shaving, this is like you shave and like you look back down and it's, it's there again, like what did I do? Like, a hundred percent hate shaving. Like, it itch. It grow. It um give you hair bumps. And waxing, it lasts longer. It's like all them good things, all good benefits for waxing. Like, I never, I never gain any benefits from shaving. If that makes sense. So now I'm gonna tell you, should not shave. You should definitely wax or get laser name three girl codes uh i would say 
number one, don't date one of your friends' exes or one of your friends' crushes. Like, that's number one right there. Like, because that's like, bruh. So, all along, you have feelings for my ex. Like, that's some weird. That's weird. Um, number two, I would say, if y'all like arrive at a party together or at a club together, I think y'all should leave together. Like, if it's two of y'all and y'all leave, if y'all arrive together, I think y'all should definitely leave together. Like, especially if y'all drunk. If y'all drunk, y'all should definitely leave together. Like, regardless of the situation, like. And then I would say the third one, just give your friend honest advice. Like, don't try to sugarcoat anything. Like, I feel like that's where um, friends go with their most advice. They go to their friends. So, like, if a friend is telling a friend, like, yeah, do that, yeah, do this, yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> then it's just like that friend doesn't serve any purpose in your life. Because why are you telling me to go bust? his windows beat his grandma up and shoot his daddy fool like you feel what i'm saying that's not good advice so like good advice honestly well don't get me wrong sometimes it's necessary to do new things <laughs> best venom feminine hygiene i would say lume like that's the best stuff ever y'all like no smell or there i ain't gonna lie like literally y'all uh, no smell or there. Like you be like, dang, did I just did I just got the shower? Like, is that good? I love Lume. Like, I think every girl should have Lume. I got my cousin here to Lume and she she couldn't thank me enough, child. It's the best investment. It's cheap. It's on Amazon. They got a website. You know, it's like a deodorant that you could put all over your body if it makes sense. So, in between the crack, your underarm, under this, in between your thighs, you know, where a girl sweat at. How do you feel about a man controlling what you wear? Honestly, if a man controlling what you wear, he is a hater for one and for two. I think your boyfriend should just let you be who you are. Like the clothes did not define who you are. Like some people say, if you dress like a whore, then you a whore. Like that's not true because I love to show my body off. I love anything many like. That's not true. So if a man controlling what you wear. And he don't want you to be at your best and look your best then. If he don't even take your pictures while you got on that got on them outfit then he is a hater and you should find someone else. Cause that's not fair. Cause like why can't I wear a mini skirt, bro? Like why you hating on me that bad that I can't wear a mini skirt? You feel what I'm saying? Like like Stop playing me. I'm going to put on this crop top and this mini skirt if I want to. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all, <laughs> I really just be doing my makeup just to get practice in because I don't know. I feel like when you wear makeup, it makes some outfits look 10 times better, you know? Especially when the makeup is done right. You gotta make sure you get on the chin, I ain't even gonna lie because one time I took a picture, y'all. I don't even gonna lie. The face was white. The neck was black, child. I was just like, what going on? So, um, make sure y'all get that next. How to self love. I would say just like admire yourself, like look in the mirror, like tell yourself you're pretty, like get dressed up. Like I'm telling y'all, when you get dressed up, you feel 10 times better. When you look pretty, you feel pretty. Like just be confident in who you are, how you look, what you're wearing, like your body. Like just be confident. 
look in the mirror every day and if you guys to yourself oh i'm pretty i'm the best thing i'm that girl then you just do that because i think every girl should have um self-love for yourself so yeah how important is someone mindset 10 out of 10 a mindset is as important as the looks because like sometimes it's like i don't even like how he think i don't want to be with him like you know what i'm saying like it's like if someone think if the mindset is not right then it's just like it serves no purpose in your life like why is i'm with someone that don't know this or why is i'm with somebody that is why i'm around somebody that don't even you know what i'm saying like 10 times out of 10, the mindset is everything. Like, honestly, um, I probably would like somebody before they mind, before they mindset, before before they looks and what they wearing. Before they, what they wearing. Like, the mindset is everything. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. So like if you just with somebody that's just daily all the time, like that's that 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 that's annoying. Like I can't be with nobody that I gotta think for twenty four seven, like bruh, why is you right here, bruh? Type type of vibe I'm gonna be giving. What do it mean to be a true friend? I just think being a true friend is just being supportive, being there when they can't be for themselves, like helping as much as possible, like you know what I'm saying? Good advice. Just being honest. Like, I want a friend to be to tell me, like, no, you're wrong. You didn't do this right. Like, no, you shouldn't do this. Like, I don't want a friend to just be saying yes to everything. Like, a yes, man. Like, everything I do is okay. Like, no, it's not. I mean, it is, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, I don't want a friend like that. I want a friend to tell me, like, no, girl, you should not do that. You should not do that. You shouldn't say this. Like, that's not the right thing to do. At least give me honest advice. Like, I would love an honest advice than someone to just say, yeah, do this, do that, do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? So, someone said how to grieve. How to grieve. Honestly, I can't tell anybody how to grieve. Like, you just have to go through the situation to see... What do you prefer, honestly? Like, I'm going to say, like, if you got to cry every day, then cry. Like, don't let nobody say, like, oh, you shouldn't cry every day. Or it's going to be okay. Or just stop crying. It's going to be okay. Like, just grieve however you want to grieve. Like, if you got to go and scream to the top of your lungs every day in front of, in front of, someone cat i mean someone gravesite then do that like don't let nobody tell you how to grieve because especially if they have never experienced like a real death like don't let nobody say oh like yeah this is how you grieve so like honestly i'm not going to answer that question i'm going to just say like grieve how you want to grieve like don't let nobody say like silly stuff like what i just said So y'all, yeah, I'm basically done my makeup. Y'all, a side part got me in a chokehold right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I just had a side part three times in a row. Like, I'm loving the side part. I used to hate them, but now, like, all I ever wanted type of vibe. Okay, so last question. What do, you, would you do a token stage for a year plus? Absolutely not. Like, if a man don't know that he's in love with you by the first day, then it's like, <laughs> no, but for real though, like if a man don't know at least by three months that he want to be with you, or I ain't even going to say three because like that, that three months be flying. I'm going to just say, I'm going to say five months in, a, in, in the talking stage, like you should know, like if you want to be with that person or not, you know what I'm saying? Like why are we wasting time and and it's like a lot of things to do out here like and that's why i say like it's okay to date multiple people at once because while i'm dating you for five months a man that i've been dating for two months is ready to be committed to me and i actually like this man so why not you know what i'm saying but yeah so 
that was the question and answers like comment and subscribe and hopefully i'll see y'all next time it's gonna be a lot of more girls talk and i'm so excited for this youtube channel so yeah but getting to this look um i don't know how i did like i try to stay confident in my makeup because i don't really wear makeup but when i do i try to like you know wait because like i say you have to have confidence in what you do so like yeah